This is Debaga refugee camp, hundreds of tents and small prefab houses, all of them home to refugees from the villages and towns in the countryside around Mosul. In Dibagawan, 4,890 individuals. Dibaga 2, 7,458 individuals. Dibaga Extension, which is new camp, 2,173 individuals. This is all Dibaga camps. That's Ahmad Abdo, who's the camp manager, 21,000 nearly altogether. It's the middle of the day now, the temperature's barely 5 degrees centigrade, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's been raining already, and cold rain soaking children's clothes as they slosh through puddles and muddy paths on their way home from school. There's a little boy running home from school to escape the rain which has started now. More than 4,000 school children in the camp now, in permanent buildings with playgrounds. We have two schools in Dibaga 1. We have one school in Dibaga 2 and we have one in Dibaga Stadium. So we have school everywhere. Students are attending school mornings. We are taking care of education because it's very, very, very important and necessary. But there's a shortage of teachers, so the education is being done in shifts. Boys, three days a week. Girls, two days a week. That is the sound of two men lifting a very large cooking pot, about two feet in diameter, with rice in it, and putting it down in the courtyard of the mosque here at Debaga Camp. Another big cooking pot has chickpeas in it, and a queue is already forming of men and children with small white plastic bowls to be given their lunch.